The capital markets authority is promising to crack the whip hard on two stock brokers who are on the radar of a suspected creation of fictitious shares on the stock market. This is basically sending a signal to the market that we want to rate moral practices. We've got conduct of business regulations that they must comply to, uh, they must comply with, and uh, so we're going to be taking action very soon. This peculiar development, described by some industry observers as a grave and mischievous conduct, could have ripple effects on the fledging stock market. Some investigations underway, which I, w I can't talk about right now, uh, but in a bid to build confidence in the market, we need to really demonstrate to uh, intermediaries whom we license that if they're involved in malpractices, they won't get away with it. This challenge around the integrity of some stock brokers comes at a time when the young stock market is still dealing with the pressure of raising existing capital as well as investors. Um, the total stock of bank debt right now is about heading to about 12 trillion. And if only 20% of borrowers from banks could issue shares in their companies, if their turnover is you know, $10 million and above, they could issue between 20 and 30% uh, of the shares in their companies to the public and it's both institutional and retail investors, if only to refinance their bank debt. That would give them a little breathing space to grow their activities in a more patient manner uh, without having to repay bank debt every month. Currently, Uganda Securities Exchange has a combined capital outlay of 21 trillion shillings generated from 16 listed firms, half of which are foreign-owned. Rainer Ojan, NTV Business.